in Excel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 11. Figure 2 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals ln x all squared x larger than 0. The finite region r, shown shaded in figure 2, is bounded by the curve, the line with equation x equals 2, the x-axis and the line with equation x equals 4. The table below shows corresponding values of x and y, with the values of y given to four decimal places. For part a, we need to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y in the table to obtain an estimate of the area of r and give our answer to three significant figures. The trapezium rule states that the area is approximately equal to a half times h, which is the interval size, so the gap between the x values that we have, times by the sum of the first and last y values, plus two times the sum of all the y values in the middle. So putting our numbers in, we get a half times 0.5 for the interval gap between 2, 2.53 and so on, times by our first and last y values added together, so 0.4805 and 1.9218, plus two lots of the sum of the other y values, so 0.8396, 1.2069, and 1.5694. Putting all of this into the calculator gives us an answer of 2.41. For part b, we need to use algebraic integration to find the exact area of r, giving our answer in the form y equals a ln 2 squared plus b ln 2 plus c, where a, b, and c are integers to be found. So the area is going to be the integral between 2 and 4, so there are x values of ln x squared with respect to x. This is a bit of a tricky one. We don't have a result that we can just use the way we would if we were integrating x squared, for example. So we're gonna to have to use one of our methods. One way we can do this is by parts. If we think of ln x squared as one times ln x squared, we can let u equal ln x squared and dv by dx equals one. Differentiating ln x squared, if you think of this using the product rule, ln x squared is ln x times ln x. So differentiating this, we're going to get two lots of the differential of ln x, which is 1 over x times by ln x itself. So we're going to get 2 over x times ln x. And the integral of 1 is x. So using our biparts rule, our integral is now going to be u times v, so x ln x squared, minus v du dx. So our x times by the 2 over x ln x gives us 2 ln x dx. Now again, not the easiest one to integrate. So we're going to use by parts again on this 2 ln x. Now we could leave the 2 in, that's what I'm going to do, or we could move the 2 outside of the integral. It really doesn't matter, we'll get the same result in the end. So by parts, let u equal ln x. So I've chosen this because it's one that's easy to differentiate. And let dv by dx equal the 2 that's in there. So du by dx equals 1 over x, just the result that we know, and v is equal to 2x. So again, using our biparts formula, we've now got the x ln x squared, which we had before. Now our second part becomes minus 2x ln x, so u times v, minus the integral of v du dx, or well, the x's will cancel, so that's the integral of 2 dx. Well, the integral of 2 dx is just 2x, so we've now got x times ln x squared minus 2x ln x plus 2x. We can now put our bounds on this, going between 2 and 4. So substituting the 4 in, we get 4 ln 4 squared minus 8 ln 4 plus 8. And putting the 2 into the second bracket, we get 2 ln 2 squared minus 4 ln 2 plus 4. We want our answer in terms of ln 2. So let's deal with these ln 4s first. Well, 4 is just 2 squared. So ln 4 is ln 2 squared. But by our rules of logarithms, we can bring that power down to change it into 2 ln 2, which I've done on the left-hand bracket there. So the left-hand one now becomes 4, lots of 2 ln 2 all squared, minus 16, so 2 times the 8, ln 2. The rest is unchanged. Bringing that 2 out from the squared bracket, well, that will become a 4 which times is with the 4 that's already there, to give 16 ln 2 squared minus 16 ln 2 plus 8 minus 2 ln 2 squared 
minus four into plus four. Finally, let's bring our like terms together. So we get an answer of 14 ln two squared minus 12 ln two plus four. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.